Manchester United, another horror performance from Manchester United. Horseshit result again, losing 1-0 away at Bournemouth. But is anyone really surprised? Another result like this was potentially just around the corner for Manchester United. And although we seem to have turned a slight corner in the last few games, this was straight back down to what to reality, to be honest. I mean, this, this was dreadful for Manchester United. It really was absolutely toothless going forward. And a king strike on the stroke of half-time was the difference between Manchester United and Bournemouth today. And to be honest, Bournemouth weren't brilliant today. I thought they did defend decent. But to be honest, Manchester United didn't impose enough threat on their goals. So you can only beat who's in front of you and the defenders will get credit for Bournemouth. But just as much Manchester United were poor today. Really poor going forward. Martial, Rashford, not good enough today. And, I mean, Dan James, all right, but... On, on the whole, just doesn't offer the goal threat that Manchester United need to, to be scoring f regularly for Manchester United. And it, it really is painful to see Pereira, Fred don't offer enough goal threat. So where are the goals coming from if Rashford or Martial aren't scoring the goals, which is a worry. I mean, Pogba chipped in with some last year and we've missed that, but it is really disappointing. I'm, 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 I mean, I'm worried with how Solskjaer didn't, I mean, the team sheet I was fairly happy with, besides I would have gone for Brandon Williams instead of Ashley Young. But besides that, I was probably, I mean, I don't really, I'm not really a fan favourite of Pereira, but he's not going to play Greenwood, so, and so he'd, he'd only play Lingard, so I would go for Pereira over Lingard. So fairly I was okay with the team selection, but to be honest, the substitutions, it just so late in the, just too late in the game. The first substitution being Jesse Lingard, which to be honest, was a, was an abysmal change considering he hasn't scored since December, I think he said it was, on the commentary. And that is that is absolutely abysmal. That you bring. He hasn't scored since December and he's your go-to man to bring off the bench. He finally did bring Greenwood off the bench, which was just too little too late. <coughs> he did, in fact, hit the post, which was the closest Manchester United came. But I, I would have been happy if he'd brought the likes of Greenwood on <coughs> at half-time, to be honest, because... Some of them players on the pitch weren't hacking it. And if this was Fergie, he would have reacted quick and uh, just gone all guns ho. I mean, they, to be honest, Bournemouth were the more threatening team that second half. Late on, David Hay had to pull off a decent save to stop them going 2-0 two, two, uh, two up. They had a free kick, which was very close, which, which for us, it went blazing over the bar. But that was a dangerous position they got themselves into. And I thought they were more threatening, on certainly on the break, than Manchester United were threatening till the last five or ten minutes to be honest and that is disappointing bringing Brandon Williams on Mason Green too late too little too late to make any impact on the game to switch it up was was poor for Manchester United to Solskjaer because he could have done that a lot earlier the game wasn't turning I mean after 50 minutes 60 minutes there was nothing hap happening for Manchester United we weren't creating enough weren't getting enough shots away on target and he still left it to seven, nearly eight, I think it was 80 minutes before he bought Brandon Williams and Mason Greenwood on, which is dreadful for me. He should have made them a lot earlier. If this was Jose Mourinho, would have made them earlier. If this was if this was Sir Alex Ferguson, would have made them earlier. I'm not saying that Manchester United would be better under Mourinho, but he would have certainly made the substitutes earlier. I mean, he probably wouldn't have even played Greenwood, but that's besides the point. But it's just too little, too late for me. I don't think he really knows what to do to react. I've said this so many times. To react when teams go 1-0 up, unless we get lucky like we did against PSG, he doesn't really seem to, besides that Chelsea game where we turned turned it around when it went 1-1 and got, in my eyes, a bit of a lucky win with a free kick, to be honest, because nine times out of ten, them free kicks fly into Rose Ed. So, but still credit to him for changing it up in that game and helping Manchester United to push to get that win in that game against Chelsea. But nine times out of ten, Solskjaer doesn't really seem to react, know how to react know what players to bring on, how to change it up in order to get Manchester United back in the game. And ultimately, that is where most managers earn their bacon, to be honest, with, with getting to... I mean, it's all right beating, like, uh, if you're Man City or Liverpool or whoever, if you're beating the smaller teams 3-4-0, but when you come up against a team which is, is about playing you or is out for you or doing something, you've got to change it up, you've got to know how to do it. And so often this season, we've been so horseshit and just haven't been able to to get back in it. If we're leading and it goes 1-1, we just don't know what to do. If we're losing 1-0, we pretty much always lose. And it is disappointing. And I don't know where Manchester United are actually going to go. I really don't. I was just hoping maybe Manchester United had turned a bit of a corner, but it doesn't. I mean, on this, result, this showing, I don't know. I just don't know. And 
we look like we look like the mid-table team that we are at this moment in time. And I don't know if January is even going to solve this problem. I don't. I think we're going to be up and down, really inconsistent all season. And that's my thoughts on it. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on that horror show for Manchester United. Really disappointed to lose even a draw for me. If we'd got that late equaliser by Mason Greenwood there when he hit the post, I still would have been disappointed because we should be going to these games now and winning considering the position we're in. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the game. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll talk to you all again soon.